Hello people, welcome to another video with me, a dumbass. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna talk about shit that I did in quarantine, which is nothing. Okay, that's it, the video's done. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, we're all in quarantine. We can't see our friend. It's been three weeks, four weeks, I don't know, I don't keep count. And I feel like dying more than ever, more than I w want to die before. <laughs> so instead of being a useless piece of shit, I decided to actually d be productive and I made a video um, with my face and I watched it. It was horrible. I scrapped that shit because no, I'm not. I thought I was ready, but I wasn't. So here's a speed paint instead. This speed paint is a redraw of a very, very old illustration, if you can even call that, that I found in my very, very old sketchbook. It was from 2012. That was... <clears throat> that, was that was seven years ago. Very old. And... Well, at that, I think it would be a good idea to share with you guys some illustration tips because I hate myself. So tip one, do your dumbass thumbnail. If you can see, I don't do that. That's why you see me drawing it, like redrawing the sketch for about three times because I don't really have a thumbnail. And that is just me because I suck. I don't take my own advice. Don't be like me. <laughs> and second, don't be stiff. My original art piece was just a girl standing, and then it's like half angel, half devil. That is very st with with a very with a very stiff post, and that is not really good. We don't want stiff post. We want something that is more dynamic. We want people to have a story to that they can make a story out of it. And three, if you want to draw like something splitting or some like from one to another, like the one I had here, don't do straight line. Don't just cut this person's face in half and be like, yeah. Now this half is an angel, this half is a devil. That's fucking stupid. And boring. And so instead, for me, I changed it to, um, breaking glass, or like, um, broken glass, because that is more interesting than just a straight line, and there's more story that you can tell, that you can, um, put in than just, you know, half and half. <laughs> and another one, try to make, tr experiment with shapes. Like you can see that the angel, because the angel is more soft, I let their eyes to be more, their eyelash to be more rounded. And while the devil side is more um, pointy, you can use shape to convey what the character is for example if like it's a <clears throat> if a character you have a, a lot of round shape and their design they're most likely like a very bubbly person a very nice bubbly cute nice well i already said that <laughs> person and if they have more of a sharp pointy um shape they're more likely to be more of a, a you know sharp strict scary person so um the shape you use for a character actually tells a lot about the character itself and you don't even have to be like people are like oh but my art style doesn't fit that like my art style is very humanoid very animated and it's not like very cartoony where you can make a triangle person well, you don't have to do that. For me, if you see my art style, it's also very um, 
like more anime than anything. But you can I can still um put in like characteristic of a shape into the character. Characteristic of a shape into the character. Just experiment with it. Try different line art, different brushes, different art style even. Actually, yeah, I'm trying to experiment with my art style right now because I don't know what I want to do. To be honest, I am having an existential crisis. Identity crisis. I don't know. I'm having a crisis. I mean, it's not like I don't have it before. It's just, you know, I'm having it more right now. <laughs> Use background. Don't be just blank. Have a simple background or just a background. Just make it have a story. Make people think there is a story involved. There's meaning involved and this illustration it will be more interesting it's like well why is this character like that why is this character why is the mirror breaking so you can make people think and it's not just oh look it's just a picture of an angel and a devil wow congratulation you can design <laughs> but last and not least just have fun do whatever the fuck you want because in the end, no one cares. And if you're just drawing for yourself and not for other people, no one's gonna see it. Just do whatever you want. It's just some tips that I use for, um, like, a complete illustration that I do. To add more dynamic, to add more shit. To add more stories to the drawing. To the illustration and that's all i have and i am going to go hang myself now see you next time if i'm still alive bye hello people welcome to another video with me um if you like this video thank you and shout out to the 65th subscriber that still subscribed to me for some fucking reason. For some fucking reason, I don't know why, but you know, I love you guys. Thank you. And if you like the video, please like and maybe subscribe. I will try to make more YouTube video. That is what I'm trying to do. I want to see if I can start a project it's kind of a thing because i'm bored there's really nothing to do homework is disgusting so yeah <laughs> bye um